So if my savings account pays 10% each year compounded at the end of each year, in other words, the interest gets put on top of previous interest, is that a linear function? So I'm just going to do a little table for fun. And we're going to do the balance in the account. So I'm just going to say we start out year zero with what? And I'm just going to make up a number. And you guys should make up a number too. You don't have to use the same number as I do. I challenge you to use something else. But I'm just going to say $1,000, right? $1,000, right? So after the first year, uh, we keep our 1000 right? And we add 10% of 1,000. That's the interest. So, so obviously you, you've got your 1,000 from that's already there and you get 10% of that is added on, right? So you get your 1,000 plus, and this is just 0 0.10, 10% times 1,000. 10% of 1,000 is 100, right? So after the first year, we have $1,100, uh, $1, right? Okay with that? Where did a thousand come from, everybody? I just made it up. And you guys can make up anything you want. You could make up five thousand, you could make up ten thousand, I don't care. But don't be afraid to make up numbers. In fact you should. In fact, you should make up numbers. In fact, th th there's a lot of times in life where you need to, because you don't know exactly what's gonna be, so but anyway. Um, so after two years, we've got our eleven hundred but we get 10% interest on top of what was already in there, which is $1,100, right? Now, 10% of 1100 is, you know, 0 0.1 or 0 0.10 times 1100 which is $110. So we get, we've got our 1100 sorry, yeah, 1100 plus 110 and so that gives uh, one two, one, zero, right? And so it keeps going on like that. After three years, we've got our one, two, one, zero, plus 10%. I'm just going to do another one. I don't need to do another one. I'm sure you guys can get the picture of one, uh, two, one, zero, which is 121. So you get one, two, one, zero, plus 121. And that makes, uh, let's see, one, three, uh, three, Okay, so what's happening is we're asking, is this linear? It's linear if it's going up by the exact same amount each year. So notice after the first year, you know, after the first year, oops, it went up by $100, didn't it? After the second year, it went up by 110 well, that was our interest here, 110, right? After the next year, it went up by 121, but our interest was 121, right? So, is it going up by the same amount each year? No. That's compound interest. That's the magic of compound interest, that you're earning interest on top of previous interest. And so, you're, you're, this is actually an exponential function. In other words, your, your savings will increase like that, as, like a, an increased curve if you plot it, right? They'll get more and more and more and more and more as you earn interest on top of interest. Plenty of this will be discussed in Chapter 4, right? So this is not linear because it's not going up by the same amount each time. All right, and you guys can see this for any number. It doesn't have to be $1,000. It could be anything, right? 